Hey guys, and welcome to the Bible. Hope the guys are all doing well. As you can see, Beats is in here with me. We're going to be doing a Liverpool preview. Obviously, it's um, coming up on Wednesday, um, so I'm not really too sure when this is going to be put uh, be put out there. But yeah, Beats is in the building. Uh, thank you for doing this with me, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. And um, yeah, um, we, we are literally recording a full massive hour show and I'm going to chop it up. So these will be different videos. So um, yeah, shout out to Beats for giving me your time as always. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing the Liverpool preview. Obviously, it's preseason. We don't need to think too much into it. I know that Liverpool also haven't been that good in preseason, if I'm right by saying, um, from what I've seen on Twitter. But then again, Twitter is a lot of BS, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, <laughs> So let's let's just load this up a minute. So oh no, I okay, it's it's because they they drew four four with uh Thurf, I believe is how you say it, German club. Um <laughs> Jeez, did that man. Four four. I haven't man. been following wow. our preseason that much, let alone Liverpool. So Yeah. Uh, don't worry, bro. You're you're on here and I can help you out with that one. <laughs> gotcha. Appreciate it. So um yeah, so yeah, four four with Thurf. That's mad. Um, hopefully they, they used like a bunch of kids instead of like, you know, starters they really, or subs. They had a really good team on as well for that Yikes. first game. They're starting 11. Yikes. They had, um, uh, Diaz is in the, uh, winger. Um, mm. then they had Jota, some young lad that I don't know, Cody Gakpo, Trent, McAllister, Robertson, Van Dyke, Panate. Um, Bradley at right back again. I'm guessing he's a young end because his name is um, shirt number is 84. And then Allison uh, in goal. Um, it's a pretty solid team. What you like? There's like you know two people I didn't recognize the yeah. youngsters, like you said. Yeah, exactly, bro. Exactly. It's a bit. It's a bit crazy. Um, a bit nuts. But yeah, uh, Liverpool. Uh, Liverpool is a team that do shock you. Do shock you. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, we'll go, we'll go and do our lineup. We may as well go do our lineup while we are doing our lineup. The people, please do smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, all of that good stuff as always. Uh, and um, yeah, man, uh, let's so where's the tab that would help if I could find the tab? So, obviously, we you know, Beats has been a little bit busy, so he hasn't been watching the full game, so I'm here to help him with that one, but he has been watching the highlights uh, of the games. So, uh, on on the goalkeeping situation, um, Mamanoi obviously ha isn't uh, available, so it probably be summer. Um, so we'll put Jan Summer in, um, like so. Um, I'm really not sure where to go. Um, who do you think? Do you? It's, it's a hard one, right? Because Thomas Stuckel has been doing this weird thing with. Um, the starting team and then obviously then he switches up the whole thing so do you think because it's liverpool he'll go strong hmm i think i think he would i think mm -hmm. he will um yeah. honestly because i mean like you said preseason doesn't mean a whole lot but i i almost think it means more particularly for tuchel uh, because now he's no longer in that grace period of, yeah, I took over, you know, three fourths into a season. I'm not going to have much responsibility. He's got a lot of response. He's got all the responsibility now. So I think he's going to be experimenting and he's not going to be just playing like dude will never play. So I, yeah. I think he'll go in strong. That's, that's my yeah. gut feeling. So what are you thinking right back? Do you think he'll put in Stanisic because he scored or do you think it'll be Mazawi? I think I, you know what, I'm gonna. This might be totally wrong, but I think he'll help, help uh, play Stanisic. That's what I'm gonna okay. guess. I'm with, I'm with that. And I wouldn't, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be mad at that. I no, really I. I, think I won't be mad. Was brilliant. Yeah. Um, I think he was brilliant. Uh, and then the thing is, with a preseason game, any anyway, you can switch players. So, yeah. If that's the case, then he's obviously gonna play Mazzari in the next in the next half. Right. So, right. Um. Centre back wise, though, uh, Delit played um, a certain amount of minutes in the second half, and Kim and Jay played a certain amount of minutes in the first half. Um, I'm very interested to see if he will go try the partnership of both of them, or if it again because it's fitness, it's preseason, all of that. He still he won't do that until maybe the cup game or something. So, what do you think the two defenders will be? 
I actually think, again, could be totally wrong, but I I think he'll go strong and he'll go Delict and Kim. Um, I think he'll want to know at least get a glimpse of that. Tuchel to me doesn't seem like a very patient guy, so I feel like yeah. he'll want to. And I don't blame because I would be I, if I were his in his position, I'd be like I want to play both of them right now, see what happens. Um, so I think he's going to start both of them. Yeah, I can see that. Which way around? That way around or the other way around? Oh, that I don't know. Um, when when Kim did play, did he? Which side was he on? Was he on the left? I believe he was on the left. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. I keep him there. Yeah. That's yeah. Because Kim and Jay played with um Pavard, and obviously Pavard's a right back. So right, right. He's the right center back. So oh, then think... maybe he'll want to switch it around. Who knows? Yeah, maybe. Who yeah, knows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See what uh, happens. Left cause... back. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, left go on, back. Go on, I was just gonna say um. <laughs> Because, yeah, I mean, now, like, obviously Kim is replacing Lucas, who is going to always be on the left. He's left-footed. So, yeah, 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 yeah Kim, yeah. if I'm not mistaken, Kim is right-footed, correct? Yes. yes. So, Delict is two, and, you know, there might not be a consensus on who's going to be in what side if they're both playing. So, maybe he'll want to kind of play around with that to see what he likes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get with that. So, um, obviously, you've been watching the replay. So, have you seen anything of uh, Kragsik? He's a young, young player. Only tweets. I haven't seen like any actual yeah. footage or yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, let let me let me live it through what I'm about to say. In this guy needs to be in the squad for everything other than the Champions League. I wouldn't risk him on the the, the big scale. I don't think that's fair to him. Obviously, with Guerrero not being in at the moment, he's injured. Um, yeah. So, yeah, man, he was sublime. Yes, we're playing Kawasaki. That's yes, awesome we're playing hear, Man though. City. But, um, yeah, exactly. The kids That's are great. Uh, exactly. Um, I don't think he's going to start, though. Um, yeah, that might be a little. So I think it will be uh, Alfonso. Um, so we're putting Davies again. Tuchel is very weird in the fact, like sometimes he does play Joshua, uh, not Joshua Kimmich, um, Stanisic at left back. Yeah, um, he hasn't done, but sometimes he will. So maybe this is too strong. Let us know what you guys think in the comments, as always. Um, you know, we're never going to get it spot on. Um, Midfield is pretty self-explanatory, I believe. <laughs> um, so it's going to be uh, Kimmich, Joshua, uh, and then it's going to be uh, Lima. Yeah, I'd be shocked um, if it was anything else. I mean, yeah, those two. Yeah, um, like we were unless saying, you, you know, unless you like... want your boy in there. Do you want your no, boy? In there? No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I would only maybe in the sense of like resting one of these two guys, may, probably Kimmich of if, if anyone, because you know he's not going to get any rest during the season. Yeah. Uh, which that scares me, if I'm being honest. I like I, I love Kimmich and I want him to be on the pitch all the time too, but you know, I think you got to be conservative with him. I, I think this hopefully with Limer, maybe Limer and Goretzka will have a good link up. So that we could rest Kimmich like one at once, <laughs> once throughout the whole season. Um, uh, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, it's not a bad point to be fair. I would actually like to see what Goretzka now it might be a massive epic fail, but yeah, I would actually like to see what Goretzka would because obviously Goretzka likes to get forward. So I wonder yeah. if playing with a a, a Lima would help him in general. Yeah, um, I'd be all for that. I'm not gonna. I I want to see it happen before I can say that's not gonna work. You got to yeah. trial and error, you know. Yeah, most definitely. Um, who who do you think is gonna be in front of them? He's been playing Jamal, but mm, and obviously and Thomas Muller's not there. Mueller's I was just about there. to yeah, say, yeah, yeah, Muller's not there. Um, I mean, shoot, I don't know. I mean, what if he do, What if he puts Gretzka there? I mean, because maybe wow. kind of giving Jamal a break. Shock. I mean, because didn't yeah. he play Cam and uh, Schalke? He might. Um, I might. I might be wrong on that. I'm not sure. I'll I mean, the guy likes to get forward enough that, and he's you know he's very physical. So I wouldn't, be, especially in a friendly, I wouldn't be opposed to seeing that. Yeah. But I, I obviously I prefer Jamal. It's just again friendlies they can be experimental. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. Um so what we what we thinking? Are we saying Jamal or are we gonna go with the mad the mad I, I mean Gretzka? 
I'm gonna go with yeah. I'm gonna be crazy and go Goretzka. That's fine with me, man. <laughs> Might be completely inaccurate. This we'll have to. I can't wait to see what the lineup is now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see the comments. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Yeah, it's gonna but blow people's lost minds. His mind. <laughs> I know, I know. Hey, I just it's saw fun. Oppenheimer, so you know, things are all <laughs> going crazy. Um, uh, your forwards. Who are we thinking? Uh, tell up front. Tell up tell front. front. Yep, yep, yep. Um, uh, Matthias. I would say. I just don't know where which side to put him, but I'm gonna say Coman on the left, Canabry on the right. But this might be really strong for a friendly. I don't know. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Um, but for some really weird, weird reason, he's been playing Coman on the right, and it really frustrates me. Um, would you, in, so if Gnabry, if this were the lineup, would you switch the wings, or would you keep him like this? So would, I would, would you, like it like this, but I you think would want him on the left. The okay. Yeah, I don't like Gnabry off of the left. Um, yeah, I, I have more of a problem with Gnabry on the left than I do with Coman on the right. I think Coman can play. Yeah. On either to be side. fair, yeah, that I, I'll give you that. If Nabry's not on the pitch and you're playing Leroy instead, um, then put Leroy, Le, um, I can't speak, Sane on the left hand side, yes, and yes. then Coman on the right. I agree with that, um, yeah. I have a I have a weird feeling though that he's gonna play Nabry up top, um, mm. and then put get Sane in this team as well. Um, he's, they're all gonna be so I feel like. Well, I guess Sané was more of a – Sané was kind of like Brazo signing, wasn't he? Yeah. Because yeah, there yeah. was like a huge push, and I know there was like a falling out with Hanzi, which Hanzi might or might not be completely vindicated after this season. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> but the, I hope there's not as much of a pressure to, to put Sané in there just because of, you know, number 10 and all the whole transfer saga from him. Uh, if he's earned it, if, he, if he's <laughs> earned it, then that's fine with me. You know, I think when he's playing his game, when he's got that explosiveness, it's it's look out. But he just never does that. Um, so I mean, yeah. But I also don't. Is it was it Nagelsmann or was it more so Tuchel that plays Sane on the right or tries to put him on the right at least because he's definitely much better on the left. I want to say both. I was. I kind of think I both too. I know, I know. Julian used to try him at, at um, number ten. For yeah, some reason. yeah. Which I had, um, I, I think he's better as a maybe as a ten than on the right at least because he. Yeah, they're just trying to make yeah. him a Robin. He's not Robin. It's fine. No. He's not Robin. It, talking of shirt numbers, that shirt number needs to go. Yeah. Through. Oh, that that uh, when when I, because I wasn't really a fan of the Sane signing back in the day. I mean. It is what it is now, but when I saw that they were going to give him the ten, I was couldn't believe it. Couldn't mm-hmm. believe it. Yeah, no, it's 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 crazy. Um, let's let's just say this is the lineup. We probably got some of them wrong, but it is what it yeah, is. Yeah, there's going to be some um, kids in there, but that's cool. What what we thinking? Like, if this was the lineup going against that Liverpool team that I told you that I had a couple of kids in it, um, what 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 score would you think it would go with? Again, it's a preseason game. Isn't yeah, it? so. preseason, and you said Liverpool hasn't had the greatest preseason. Uh, no, so, Bayern hasn't either. To be fair, no, exactly. Um, um, so, hmm. um, Liverpool drew four four with uh, uh, Firth, um, and the game before that they won four two against I can't say it, Carls and Rugger. I believe so you say it. Um, they beat them 4 2. 4 4 with Firth. And then today, they, um, well, today of recording this, they um, beat Liverpool. Uh, they, they beat Leicester City 4 0. Sorry. Um, so. If we're going yeah, with this yeah. Bayern lineup and the Liverpool lineup that you had told me, I think this Bayern team wins 3 1. Okay. That's my guess. Or prediction yeah. or whatever. But if it's a yeah, different yeah, lineups, yeah. this might be a little bit different of a story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I get you, I get you. I'm gonna go with a two two. Two two. I don't wanna I don't wanna be that guy, but um I, I think they've got goals in them. Um yeah. unfortunately, especially with uh, Mohamed Salah. Um yeah. well I think Jota too. I think well he's is yeah, he coming Jota's off an injury? 
Is he coming off no, he, an injury? He was he was on the pitch. So okay, okay. Um, yeah, there was, was an, I thought pitch, there was another but... forward that they had that, that either is injured now or is recently coming off an injury. I'm not. I want to say it's. I know where you're coming from. Maybe it was Yotta. I'm not. Because sure. he didn't play like almost at all prior season. Maybe he's. Yeah, maybe he got I'm injured not... in the beginning of the season. I. I know. I know that um they were playing Cody Gappo at striker for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, well, I'm thinking the two two. Um, you're thinking a three one. Uh, that's our lineup, people. Um, just here. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, and um, yeah, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, all that good stuff. And until then, yes, I'm here. Peace out.